Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Bottom of the Barrel as Josh so kindly hits the applause button for us so that we can fully start this episode. Millions and millions of the Bottom of the Barrel fans. I know. Yeah, Bottom of the, the Barrel. The Rock might have that copyright. And we need to yeah, I, I don't know. We, <laughs> No one knows, but... I know we do have more subscribers. We did gain a subscriber the other day who liked our stuff, so that's always neat oh, to nice. have. The more subscribers, the better. If you like what we do here, watching bad movies, making fun of them, occasionally watching a good movie even, that's kind of the scenario we have today where we're taking Maybe. on public domain for the first time. We hope it's good. Let me rephrase that. We're taking on public domain in the oldest movie we've done on the show so far. It is 1959's House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price. This is interesting for me because this is kind of your older horror type stuff back when, you know, scary was, oh my goodness, it's it's something. I don't know hey, what it is. It's a guy in a suit. Noises. Yeah, noises. Um, screaming. Yeah. That, that's about it. But this is an interesting one because this is directed by one Mr. William Castle. Now, William Castle is a pioneer in filmmaking and what goes around the film itself. He would have all sorts of random designs he would do or random set pieces that weren't actually in the movie but were in the movie theater itself. And for House on Haunted Hill, there's a skeleton in it. What he would do is he would take a skeleton in certain theaters and they would swing it down whenever the skeleton appeared. I think, depending on the theater, it uh, was glow-in-the-dark as well. So what would happen is people would start showing up and throwing things, trying to hit the skeleton or knock it down. He had another movie called The Tingler, which was this monster that was that apparently fed on fear inside of you and would grow. And then when you scream, it shrinks, and it, like latches to your spine, I think is how they describe it. And there's this scene where this guy pretty much tortures this uh, mute woman, basically, and he gives her drugs and she hallucinates, and because she can't scream, the tingler pops out of her and, like, she dies, basically. And so there's this whole scene where they're at this the doctor finds out and they cut the film. And then you see a shadow of the Tingler walking on a white background. And then they have the voice oh, uh, voice announcer guy. The, the Tingler is in this theater. Everyone scream for your lives. And they would pay actors and actresses to fake, like, screaming and running out of the theater and all sorts of stuff. The, William Castle had some oh, weird great. things that could only be described as 50s and 60s, like, classic gags almost it feels like nowadays is the best way to put it but it's just you know something you had to be there to see basically that's awesome i don't know i wish they did that now yeah i i wish they did too imagine I, if they just had yeah. you know uh thor's hammer come into the crowd and hit somebody in the face in the middle of the movie that would see that would be fun <laughs> yeah you just you know thor throws his hammer and like someone turns on you know someone just flings one yeah. from the back of the theater or something that'd be fun or, you know, if there's a windy scene, like someone brings a giant fan out, it's whoosh. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, they it would be. Do we need more interactive movie theater experience. That's what we really need. I do. We, have, we need smell vision Well, I mean, Spy Kids 4 tried that. It was it was terrible, but they tried it. I would know. I, I watched it. Was that the scratch and sniff? Yes, that was the scratch and sniff. And every single one of them was the same flavor somehow. They were well, all supposed to be like 15 different things, and they all smelled like chocolate, which... As a kid, I had no problem with, but trying to watch the movie, and it's like, it's a blueberry. But no, no, it's chocolate. Well, back in the day, they were originally going to do smell vision and have, yeah. like, this machine that just put out s different smells for things. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, do you really want to smell, like, say it's Predator? Yeah. Is what you really want to smell, a sweaty Arnold Schwarzenegger? Probably not. But, you know, they were going to do stuff like that. And, I mean, I guess you could do, like, plant smells and stuff, and yeah. it would feel very immersive. They but could, instead, they, they went with music. <laughs> they could always do, uh, you know, oh, it's in the desert. Time to turn the AC off in the theater. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> time to time to make it as hot as possible. They could always do something like that and annoy people. But we have House on Haunted Hill today from 1959 starring Vincent Price. We do have the color version of it, I believe. So for people who hate black and white movies, there is a color option. They did go back and color this, so. 
basically, let's get ready here as I get the watch party turned on. And as always, this is on Amazon Prime. This is in the public domain, so you really can find this movie just about anywhere. It's on Amazon Prime. It's on Tubi. It's probably on YouTube, even. Oh, probably. I would assume. But anyways, without further ado, if you have lights, you can turn them off. If you have popcorn or a drink, you can go get it. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause it right now, get whatever you need. If you're on Twitch, obviously this is a live stream. You can't really do that. You just got to hope and pray for the best. So let's get the movie in progress screen on. And in just a few moments, it's time for House on Haunted Hill. And for once... I don't have to give the this film is rated R speech. Uh, that's true. That's true. That is correct. So, title is selected. The watch party is beginning. So, let's get this going here. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the film begins. And we're gonna have our yeah, and as normal always, technical our difficulty. Tra- our, as always, our traditional delay because this happens literally every time we watch a movie because our computer does not like the idea of us being able to watch a movie for some reason. It just doesn't. Oh yes, eccentric millionaire. Oh good, the screaming. Yeah, there we go. The screaming. See, my applause doesn't sound so bad now, does yeah, it? Yeah, no. <laughs> ah, classic. I know. Yeah, I, nothing I too, on screen. I, too, love when movies start with 40 seconds of a black screen. Yes. Oh, so William H. Macy. There you go. There you go. They're they are movies. restless. No. I guess. Go away. Okay, and uh, our gosh darn thing wanted to screw up because of course it did. Alrighty, well let me switch to. He owns the house, but he only spent one night there. He was dead. There we go. It's a sweet mustache. And I rented the house on Haunted Hill tonight so that my wife could give a party. A haunted house party. Ooh. A haunted house. What a tradition, the haunted house party. There'll be food and drink and ghosts. Ghost. Even if you murder me, you're all invited. Well, thank you. <laughs> We're invited. Next 12 hours. Hold up. <laughs> Could you imagine if they made a 12-hour movie, though, in 1959? I'd actually be impressed, considering how technology too. was at the time. What was that uh, science fiction movie, Metropolis or something? Yeah, that was like three and a half yeah. for 1927. It's supposed to be good. I've never seen it, though. I have it recorded somewhere, but I don't know. I have to sit and watch that one time. Family Guy made a remake of this. Did you know that? I did not know that. I don't think I wanted to know that. Oh, cigarettes. There don't smoke, go. children. Yeah, by the way, we are 20 seconds away from three minutes to sync up for everybody. That's two minutes and 40 seconds, if you didn't know. Thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the simple math, Josh. And in five, four, three... To one, we're at three minutes exactly. I like how the people are in color, but everything else is still in black and white. Yes, it's nice. Money. Well, that line's yellow, kind of. What is it? Look yeah. to me. <laughs> Guess. This is Nora Manning. I picked her from the thousands of people who worked for me because she needed the ten thousand more than most. Fair. Yeah. She's pretty. I would like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> the party's starting now. And you yeah, I would have loved if Vincent Price gave me ten thousand right? dollars. 
house on Haunted Hill. Play that synthesizer. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of funny. We made a we made a black and white movie uh, restored in color, but it was filmed at a black and white place anyway. They're mostly gray. Starring Vincent Price. The gates are closing on their own. Oh no! I'm scared. I can't believe that. Uh, can't believe science would do this to us. I, science. The Age of Wonder. Why is there bars on the window? Why not? <laughs> I know that was a thing in the 50s. Maybe. Maybe this one, you know, they wanted to give that authentic prison look, I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess this is supposed to be like a insane asylum in it yeah, or something. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen this. so I would have no, I've never seen any of the house on Haunted Hills, so. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I've never seen one. Even though they made it three different times. Was it three? I know they made it twice. Yeah, there's 59, and then they made a 99, and then 17. They did a recent one. Oh, really? I haven't yeah. seen that one. At least that's what IMDb or that's what Google said. I've seen Hill Haunting or Haunting on the Hill or something like that. The Netflix original TV series. Just sort of just walking around. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a nice way to have the opening credits, yeah. though. Just showing the characters walking around. It's better than the one from last week. Well, you don't like just... The exact same shot Yeah, the repeatedly. exact same shot. Oh, wait, that was that entire movie. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there are at least... The killer eye shows up in this movie. Now, that would be a plot twist. I don't know if it'd be a good one or not, but it would be one. What was the thing we did for the killer? I was at this one. Yes, yeah. it was that. <laughs> Asleep. Dead. <laughs> Ooh, dun dun dun. Well, yes. No, <laughs> these all know each other. Just a phone call. Does anybody know if you're going to rent a bus today? I don't know. All the details about renting a house were done by men. He's quite wealthy, isn't he? Million. And uh, five wives, I believe. Four, I think, so far. A fifty thousand dollar cottage for only five people is a little steep, even for a millionaire. <laughs> that's that's what I do when I show up to someone's house. I immediately criticize them. Ghost. Ghost dad. All the chandeliers move. Ah, uh, the ghost. Or a string. Yeah, or a string. It could also have been a string. Nobody n notices a chandelier nah, moving. Nah, nah, it's fine. Or hears it. Oh, hey. I'm glad the chandelier waited to fall. That's very yeah. kind of it. Dawn, you are not dead. Dang it. <laughs> Now well, I'm just going to walk away. Yeah, in, see ya. Introduce himself. That's quite rude. Quite rude, sir. Quite rude. I thought you were a gentleman with that mustache. That's true. Yeah. 
Wow. We had none. <laughs> Oof. True. Which one he thinks is drunk? William know. H. Macy? Maybe. Yes. That's true. Will you join me? No. <laughs> Not if you just threaten to kill me. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> that that's what you do at a party. You threaten to kill people and then want them to hang out with you. Like how he called one a drunk as he goes ahead and has his drink. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. It's poisoned. The ghost juice. That's how this works. You think she's a ghost? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Throwing the shade. <laughs> oh, just that's that's funny. Just, no. oh, you know, I'm still alive. Would you go away? <laughs> Time will come. The fact you did it once. Yeah, I did. It's pretty fair. <laughs> oh, jeez. She just keeps threatening her. I know. You know, don't, don't even try to make a sympathetic right. villain or like, just, no, nope, he's just rich and evil. Although, I mean, to be fair, she's evil herself. And yes. She poisoned him. To be fair, everyone is evil so far. Ah, William. What? He's going to stab somebody? <laughs> that exact knife. I find it hard to believe yeah. the cops would just leave it there. Twelve. Oh, two. You're off by ten. It's a close guess. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Hello. That guy might be the drunk. Yeah, he might be. Good evening. Good evening. I already tried to kill you once, but... <laughs> Hello. We're all strangers to each other. Let's get acquainted with the drink, Mr. Lawrence, I advise you to call this party off now. The ghosts are already moving, and that's a bad sign. Let me apologize. That is a bad sign. Yeah. Now, before the party begins, let's go over the details. The caretakers will leave at midnight, locking us in here until they come back in the morning. Didn't say on the rocks. Once the door is locked, there's no way out. Too bad. The windows have bars that the jail would be proud of. And the only door to the outside locks like a vault. There's no electric chip, no phone, no one within miles. So, no way to call for help. Fair enough. Like there you go. So, if any of you... 
Oh, that was creepy. Yeah. What are you talking about? He's just a friendly old older guy. He's in his 30s. Yeah, he's a friendly old man, except he's 30. <laughs> ghost. Ghost dad. Ghost dad. It's just ghost dad. Bill Cosby's going to show up out of nowhere. <laughs> that would be the true horror movie. Bill Cosby just shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> That does. Seven? Maybe more before many. Thirteen. There you go. That's the number. Four men have been murdered in this house. Thirteen ghosts. And three women. You plan your party seven plus seven is fourteenth. Saturday the fourteenth confirmed. Oh my god. Oh Worst my day of the year. Have you ever seen that movie Saturday the fourteenth? <laughs> it's it's a movie, I'll say that. Yes. <laughs> On the ceiling? Yep. Anywhere. Oh, the oh. blood's dripping on her. Ghost. Ghosts. Taste it. Yeah, prove it's not cranberry juice. Yeah. She just flies out the window. <laughs> Yeah, there has been, has there? There you go. Do do do. Oh, and conveniently that. Yeah, uh, that's pretty convenient. That wall there. That was pretty nifty. Yeah. Is that acid? I don't know, is it? It's a funny thing. They sh- one of them should jump in and yeah. find out. <laughs> Just a little. A little goofy. Why why would you get so close? You mean there's still acid in there? I don't know. Take a look. <laughs> How would you get it out? Would it just burn everything you tried to put in there? Probably. I'll just throw this rat in there. Is that a turtle? What is that? I don't know what that is. There you go. It is. That Coke's really bubbling. But not bone. There you go. Apparently it was a rat. Yeah. Or something. I guess so. My dry and dusty down here. <laughs> Better have Great some segue. Wine. <laughs> a cure for that. Just a little. Creepy. That is creepy. This is the real horror of the movie. Yeah. Doll hairs. I know. That's a lot of money you could mm-hmm. buy. I don't know what you could buy in fifties money nah, with ten thousand dollars. But that is a lot of money. A lot in the of fifties. Mo- yeah. 
That's probably fair. I saw a cloud one time that looked like a person. If he was a pilot, he probably did. Yeah. Also fair. Fair, fair. That's fair. That's also fair. Yeah. There's been a door behind everything you that walk is true. by. All those doors. Closet. That's a good place to hide. It is. That's where the ghosts hide. Closet. Bottles. Oh. It's a bottle Closets. closet. Why didn't you didn't even take one of the bottles out? I know. Trees. Toward another dimension. Yeah, yeah, it just enters a different movie. Does it go anywhere? It did now. Oh. <coughs> oh. Well, thank God the dark isn't very dark. Yeah. Also, I'm glad they went, uh, you know, around the room. They didn't turn all the lights out at once. Oh, there's the head. Yep. I mean, you can clearly see the body below it, so yeah. it's apparently not just the head. <laughs> That's going to walk backwards. Yeah. Can't see me now. Just letting you know they're there. <laughs> Should have just waved at it. Right. They're like, hey, what's up? Gave it the finger. This is America. I was just going to leave them. Dang. Yeah, dang. Just straight up see you. Yep. Didn't even notice that they were gone. A ghost. Home. <laughs> Went to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that he's just slowly taking. His I mean, step. that's what I would have done. I mean, like whatever. He's been like whatever. Not even the most interesting murder in that room, probably. Well, luckily that candle has amazing lighting powers. That's fair. There you go. Is he bleeding? Maybe he did. Maybe he's not. I've been drinking. Can't yeah, hold he my liquor. Bleeding, sure enough. Ghost. They hit him. I can't believe they would do that. They they do a lot though. Kind of creepy, Richard Nixon. I know. That's who he looks like. A ghost. <laughs> wow, that's racist. Wearing a black thing? I can't believe you. Dress, you mean? But not everything is hysteria. <laughs> yeah, everything so is. Literally what he's described everything as. Hysteria. Yeah, you don't want tetanus. Yeah. It's a lockjaw. The ghosts are coming closer, Mr. Warren. You really believe in your pet ghost, don't you, Tricia? Yes. When the night's over, you will too. Would you like a drink, lad? Have no thanks. I'd like one. It's not bad. Again. Again, yeah. Maybe she's the drunk. Are they going to open those boxes, or are you just going to leave them? Or are those boxes where the $10,000 Maybe. Oh. 
and she's honest. That is true. Got to pay my gambling debts. Wow, it's, it's already 11.40. 11 I don't know what time they showed up. Yeah, I don't know either. I would assume probably late, but... Apparently not that late. Yeah. They showed up at like 4. <laughs> they was all chilled for 7 hours. It's silly. Kind of had to be if you're trapped in that tiny right. room. Either that or you're really stupid. Poltergeist? Was it Poltergeist? I don't know. Hollow. Just punch it hard enough and it'll totally work. Totally oh, will find a, the secret exit. There's a trap door. Doing just leaving. Yeah, people. this is a good idea. Trap her in that room. Oh God, that would be creepy. Yeah, that would be. I'm not gonna creepy. lie, I would probably scream too if I turned yeah. around. <laughs> just glides on out of there. How does he not see it? Saw what? <laughs> There's nothing here. There's nothing here except this old lady who just kind of glides, apparently. Be here. Behind me. Door shuts. That's how logic works. He still would have seen it. Yeah. It's your mom. What a twist. I like how, I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> now he's going to die. Probably. Oh, this thing is super creepy. I'm Janet. Yes. Wouldn't you like to freshen up? Okay. Let me shove you out this window. <laughs> She's going to kill her. Probably. There was no bathroom anywhere else other no, than... All the way up at the top. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why he probably chose this place. I don't know. It's got a sweet room to me. Well, it might be depressing for rich people, Josh. Oh, yeah, I don't that's know. Fair. That's fair. Because we're in love. This just turns into deal or no deal. I'll give you 20000 to leave right now. Deal or no deal. I'd be like, all right. Yeah, I, <laughs> sweet. Because we're in love. What were you doing wandering around by yourself? Trying to avoid ghosts. That's all. Yes, ma'am. That's fair. That's actually good advice. Yes. We're all in danger. The ghost. That's fair. It's Joe Mama. <laughs> Joe Mama. Did you tell Joe? Joe who? Joe Mama. It's the real ghost. It's just a terrible pun. Oh, they're going to kiss.
Ooh. <laughs> Man, that is my bed. <laughs> She saw a ghost. Well, Nora thought she saw a ghost, but uh, I didn't see anything. She was just frightened. And mad at me, I think. I killed her about. I wouldn't trust that anything else could happen to you like that. I wouldn't either. You're taking all this seriously. No. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> He's just kind of here. No. Sorry, can you help me by killing yourself? <laughs> what is with this party here? This is no party. He's planning something. Your husband? I wish I could let him know about it. Must be pretty big if he's going to lay out 50000 Money doesn't mean anything. He has a reason for giving this all up here to this dreadful old house. For what for? He doesn't even know it. Maybe that's exactly why you're here. Yeah, sacrifices. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. Unfortunately, he's not wrong. It's even in the fifty, even yeah. in the fifties, they knew that. It's a fair argument. Yes, clearly. He faked shooting you with a bottle or Yeah. Although she did poison him. So there's also that. Yeah, so they're even. Oh, it's Alfred Hitchcock. Run away. I'm safe in this room that I'm has no exit. The, yeah, I'm safe in this one door room. Oh no. He found me. Well, that happened before you even came up here the first time. Yeah. The chandelier. Don't you want to go and console him? She be most men. Ooh. Ooh. Just Joke's on you. She already did that. Yeah, throwing shade. Very passive aggressive towards each other. This is, yeah, this is, this is good old passive aggressivism. I wonder how many times he hit his head on that light there. I don't know. No. Are you ready, dear? Yes. Damn you. Dang. We're, hey, we were right about the the wife beating. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. By the way, we're already almost halfway through the movie. I know. We're just flying. Let's be honest, not a lot has happened. That's also true. What? Do you, but the guy did bump his head. So he did. He and did. We saw a ghost like twice. Classic 50s horror. Yep. I'm sure all the important things will happen in the final two minutes, as is tradition. Yeah. Okay. How did you know he was in there? Because he's, he's got psychic powers. I don't know. Who is it? The pizza man. <laughs> Very private. Where does that door lead? Is that maybe, it's, maybe it's a closet. I don't oh, know. Where does oh, that okay. door go? Oh, a head. Oh, a face. That's almost the just face that other face is yeah, making. Yeah, I was going to say. she trying to copy it? Maybe. But don't go anywhere alone. Where'd don't run into that curtain. Going? Oh, is that a curtain to another dimension? Maybe. It's the ghost dimension. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Or not. Gosh just dang a chair. It. Just more hall. <laughs> just a chair. The true horrifying <laughs> thing. 
Where is she going? I don't know. Oh, there's a wall here. There's a wall that you can see. <laughs> so I'm not sure why you're acting like you, you could, didn't know you it was there. You can see and touch the wall. It is indeed real, like a wall. Oh, uh, karate chop. I mean, to be fair. To be that, fair, I would. was a natural Wow, that reaction. all happened in five minutes. That was an insane five minutes that a lot of right? things happened. <laughs> it would have been great if she just acted really calm. Yeah, just walked in. Oh, I saw a ghost, by the way. Oh, here's Lurch. Yep. Oh, there's that lady that was creeping her out. Yep. But how is that lady in that room? Yes. Without maybe they're the ghosts. Without noticing. Oh, that's the first time you said that. Yeah. Good evening. Sup. <laughs> Yo. Hey, all you doing? I would have never I guessed. Kill. Larry. <laughs> Lance. His name's Lance. Freaking Lance. That's fair. May I have your attention, please? I think you all remember the bargain we made about staying all night. Yes. Ten thousand dollars apiece. If any of you don't survive, fifty thousand dollars will be divided amongst the rest of you. If I should die, you will be paid by my estate. When the door is locked, more money. Or less money. You will be paid one dollar if I die, so don't kill me. Oh, cat. Uh oh. Is that chandelier? Yeah, is it the, the other chandelier? Oh, the caretaker. <laughs> they just booked it. Like, yeah, there's nope. like, see ya. We don't stay here past 11.55. Thank you. It's a really short door. It is. For a front door. It's midnight. Guess who told them they could leave? They never leave before midnight. Oh, they're gone now. <laughs> How would he know? He was standing right next to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a gun. They need an axe to yeah. get the door down. Use the gun. Just find a I'm gun. I'm pretty sure that's what's in the coffin. His guns. Probably. Just go to sleep. If everyone just goes to sleep... Oh, ha ha. Their coffins get it. Yep. Ah, yeah, told you. Guns. There you go. Let me shoot my wife, for example. <laughs> That's how you cause tetanus. <laughs> That's better than what I thought he was going to do. Do you want tetanus? That's how you get it. Or not tetanus. Tinnitus. Yeah. That's fair. But I'm going to take it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> the one, I'd be like, uh, excuse me, sir. I don't want the yeah. one with the one less bullet. Also, That's shout out to him not pointing the gun at them like we've seen in every other movie yeah. at one point. Where's she going to put it? Yes. She's going to hold it the rest Where of the time. Where are any of them going to put it? That's they don't have question. holsters. I'll stab you. I'm sure she already has ideas of this. 
That's fair. What? Quit pointing it at me. That's why. Yeah, we're, not, we're not going to run around <laughs> shooting each other as I point this gun at you several times. Yes. Yes. It's not going to be there. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I don't know why she's just now bringing this up yeah. after 15 minutes of sitting there chit chatting. Well, they had to show off the guns. Oh. Can't wait for that to be point. important later, yeah. Why would there be a head? What, that would mean you brought the head with you. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah, underwear. What a, what a shock. <laughs> Those aren't my socks. <laughs> No dur. Oh, I think she's beyond a little upset now. Okay, now now I think hysteria is an accurate yeah. uh, <laughs> diagnosis. Just a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Ahead, she told you. <laughs> what? <laughs> The ghost would get her, regardless of how many people are around her. Well, she can now shoot the ghost, so that's good at least. She's got the gun. That's I like how they're just staring at him. Right. Listening in on the conversation, like, what the heck are those? They two can't talking? hear. They can't hear him. They're yeah, five feet away. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, can you not stand so close to me? <laughs> I like how they waited to have. <laughs> oh, told tough you, guy. bro. Dang. Got him. Well, I know who's dying next. Ooh, that's a good thought. He could be the first casualty. Yeah. Well, I hope we get a casualty because we're 42 minutes in. Where's this door lead? It leads to another room. <laughs> Quit knocking on my door. Kick it in. Oh, okay. I tell you to come in there. Okay. Uh oh. It's a door you could have heard or open earlier. Right. There was another way to get around this. Oh no! Now that door shut. The, hey, there's the head. Yeah, there's the head. I don't think I'd get close to it. Yeah, I don't think I would either. I'd just be like, oh, okay, <laughs> time to leave now. Go. Oh, he's going to walk around I, with it. He's intelligent. Yeah. He can't disappear if he has it in his hands. I well, don't know. I could, but... <laughs> if it's a real ghost... <laughs> he at least would... brought it with him. Yeah. It does look pretty creepy. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, it is a good effect. What do you know about this? That's a head. In a little while. It's an Uncle Cracker song. That's rude. I'll find her right now. There very clearly was something you could do about it. He's left the head on the table. She almost got tripped over that rug. You see that? Yep. 
Oh, she oh. hung herself. Oop. Which one's that? What? She wasn't wearing a blue dress. That's not her. That's all, yeah, also her. And she's not wearing shoes. Yeah, also weird. Maybe it is her then. How'd she get a rope and tie herself up? Yeah, that? that actually impressive. Is it the wife? Whose room is that? <laughs> We're just hiding people in random rooms now. Was the wife hanged herself? Wouldn't it be hung? I hung think, herself? Yeah, I think it's hung. Yeah, or maybe it's one of those weird, like proper technically, but not what we would actually ever say. Oh, uh, maybe. Like if you were to put it in a newspaper or something, you would put hanged, but uh, we hung. would say hung because that sounds better. Fair enough. Or maybe they just forgot. <laughs> that could That's also fair. be true. It's also the 50s, so it might be yeah. different now. Yeah. Nora. In the in her own room? Yes. Brilliant. They'll never find you in here. Brilliant. <laughs> The ghost man. That's who did it. Larry. <laughs> yes, it was oh, Larry. Larry, the ghost was. guy. Why don't you have marks on your neck? I don't know. Ghosts. Ghosts. Also, she's accusing somebody that she couldn't see. That's also true. But I saw her hang herself. Yeah. Oh wait, no. That means she didn't. Wait, hold suicide. up. <laughs> yeah. Laura committed suicide, and I hung her. Wait, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> These bars are real. <laughs> These bars are made of bar material. <laughs> what if I walk back across the room? Is this door going to still be there? It yes. Is. That leads it's to my room. It's still a door. They're going to have a group. Are meeting. they going to kill? I mean, kill Mr. Lawrence? It's just like Among Us. They're going to have an emergency meeting. Oh, that's fair. Out who the killer? Oh, maybe this one among us is based yeah, off. Yeah, maybe. Of. You could have knocked. No, nah, it's changing. Listen, entering it just unannounced is always the better strategy. Why would the doctor not knock on her door? Yes. To invite her to the <laughs> Yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, I guess because he thinks she's cray-cray. That's also true. You just say, if you have to, shoot the ghost. There you go. It'll work. Trust me. So he looks confused. Dies immediately. <laughs> Side note, why would you not go out your own door? Also true. She locked the door. Wait, he locked that door. <laughs> How's it unlocked? Oh, no, that's where she is. All these rooms look alike. They need... They need name plates so we know what room's what. Still shit talking her and she's dead. I know. 
There you go, he's the drunk. How did he not notice him when he walked I, in the I room? don't know. Maybe he was hiding in a corner perfectly. Like, he, look where he was standing. I, I know, know. yeah, he's right in the middle of the room. But <laughs> Maybe he walked in with his head down and like purposely, I don't know. We would have seen him. <laughs> I know. By the way, we're uh, almost 50 minutes in. We do have one death. We do have a death, at least. So we're at one. It's better than none. So one for seven instead. One of seven. This guy just smoking his, his cigarette. <laughs> like I didn't even know her name. I mean, to be fair. And I killed her. That's fair. Gotta stay, gotta stay. Ooh, not afraid. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. He's a ghostbuster. I ain't afraid. No ghost. True. We're all murderers. Three people have died. <laughs> I think not. I think not. Yeah, so one of us will die each hour. Yeah. Who will be next? How will it happen? Let me ask you a question, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. You were the first one to see my wife last. Uh, actually. Did you see anything that she could have climbed up on and then jumped? No. The other guy was the first one. Yeah. There was no one. How then did she get up there? She flew. No. No. She was murdered. By the ghost. By me, wait. <laughs> or you, Mr. Lawrence. Yeah, Mr. Lawrence. To deliberately kill someone, you must have a reason. You were all That's not true. <laughs> Only you had a motive for murder. Murder. A good one. Fifties moment. <laughs> or all of us. Murder. Murder. Stop it now. Why would he kill all of you? It'd be Just because. It's just ridiculous. Ghost dads. Yes. Murder. Yes, you're dead now. Near. Kill each other. I don't think anything. I know. And if anybody comes in, I'll shoot him. Or her. And if we all stay in our rooms, we'll be safe. Because the innocent will have no reason to leave his room. What? This is an interesting logic chain. Why would the best plan would be to stay together? Yeah, the best plan would literally be for everyone to just sit in that room for six hours. Ever.
Now I'm going to go get my scotch and <laughs> yeah, I'm go upstairs. Now I'm going to go get wasted. I like how he just stays. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, but like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Tell me where I'm going to stay. I rented this place. Yeah, this is my place. What's the use of saying goodnight? I hope you have a horrible one. <laughs> yeah. She said it. Yep, she She's did. a lot nicer. That's true. Good night. Nope. <laughs> Just gives him the evil eye and leaves. Yeah. Also, he locked that door. Yep. Good night. Bro. Good night. Nope. <laughs> no one has a good night. Besides the one. Yep. Besides the woman. Very rude. I wouldn't even go in there. I'd just be like, all right, well, got the house to myself. Yeah, I eat, see Let's y'all. explore. <laughs> Peace. That uh, was stupid. Yeah, that was rude. I thought you said the guns didn't matter... Maybe for a, a person it does, but a ghost it does. I don't know. Is he going to sit for six hours in that chair? I'd probably just go to bed. Do, 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 do. She'll write down my findings. At 12 o'clock, we went upstairs. Yeah. Just twisting the doorknob. There you go. Don't actually enter the door. Just why would you open it? That's really not a smart play for a doctor. You should know better. Now he's gonna die. That is how you die. You let the ghost in. I know. That creepy statue. Yeah. It's gonna get a chandelier dropped on his head. Oh, that'd be the good ending. Those chairs look awfully uncomfortable. They do. They really do. Oh, that's oh. happening again. That room's going to fill up with blood. This wasn't there before. Yeah. Shoot the wall. <laughs> Shoot the ceiling. Shoot, Shoot everything. It. Fire your gun. Fire your gun. Fire your gun into everybody your just, Everybody just shoot, shoot your guns. <laughs> Let them know who's in charge. Lance. Okay. No. That was convenient. Thunder, lightning. You'll die too. Where is this what? logic coming from? <laughs> I don't know. And why does he keep exiting out her door? I, I don't know. Ha. Huh. Oh, yes. The curtain. There's more hall. Is he going to touch the wall, too? Yeah, yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. This wall is still a wall. <laughs> 
That's good to know, I guess. Oh. Oh, hey, okay. That's a secret. Yeah, I think I'd go get a candle. I think I would have taken a candle with me. Oh, in the first he's trapped place. again. <laughs> Rip. Bye, bud. Oh, that's the knocking in the door. Yeah. This is a person. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, lights went out. Oop. Electricity blinked. Oh, wait, yeah. there was oh. no electricity. Oh, a snake? Well, let's go. It's a rope. Oh, it's a rope. rope. <laughs> it's a rope snake. Oh, is she going to hang herself conveniently, too? Maybe. You going to move, or are you just going to let it happen? Apparently, she's going to let it happen. Oh, it's what's her name? Yep. It's the wife. The wife. I didn't kill you. What? Maybe she did kill maybe her. Maybe she did. That's why maybe she's she thought her. she was a ghost. Or maybe she is the ghost. Or, okay, how did you get out of that? Why does this ghost refuse to kill people? Because she's an innocent. This lady is a horrible actress. <laughs> what are you talking about? She's great. Shoot the ghost! <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to run behind the curtain. Oh, she's back up there. Yep, there we go. It was a good scream, though. It is a good scream. Oh, swamp thing. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a swamp thing or creature of the Black Lagoon's also here. Lance, where are you in this room? You're not. Shoot the vase. Shoot something. They can only afford the one. Yeah, they can only afford the one gun. <laughs> well, that's oh. a mysterious looking door. That door was not here before. And there's a piano. This is going to be like Shoot house. the piano. Oh, it's playing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's an organ, I guess. It's not that bad. I was going to say it's pretty good. The ghost is pretty talented. How has nobody came out of their room f from her screaming? Maybe they're all asleep, and they're all really <laughs> deep sleepers. Never mind. Was that a scream I heard 20 minutes ago? Yeah. I know you're in there. I saw you open your door. Also, I love how they all had simple instructions and they literally can't follow Not them. Not a single one of them followed it. So they didn't hear her scream. He heard someone walking... But not her scream. Does everyone in this movie have selective hearing? <laughs> Why waste time? I'm not going down there alone. I, I would not. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It's creepy. Is he going to go into his room? Maybe. Probably. I oh, know, he just walked right past it. Oh. oh, we're back in this oh, room. Oh, maybe the wife's not dead. Oh, no, maybe. Uh-huh. Could be. 
Maybe that's her. Her lover. He's going to shoot the bed. You're not dead, are you? You're not dead. Let me fix that. Oh, that's spooky. Uh, yeah. She will. Well, thank you. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> Sometimes there is nothing better on some of these days than just sitting back yeah. and watching a movie. And an actually good movie. Yeah, and an actually not bad movie that makes us want to bash our head into a wall. It's not The Killer Eye. It's not Sharks of the Corn. It's an actual movie. <laughs> With people. That's fair. Perfectly, perfectly. What if he gets shot? Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't he just shoot her and then blame her anyway and, like, put her hands on the gun or something? Yeah. That could also equally work at this point. Why, why would she go down to the cellar? I don't know. We're in the final nine minutes, though, so something better happen. Something is going to happen. Ghost. Maybe. Maybe the real ghosts were the friends we made along the way, Josh. Oh. <laughs> Which would also be terrifying, because, uh-oh, we got other problems then. Dude. Yeah, dude. There it is. Stairs. Yep. Stop right there. Halt. In the name of... Voila. What if she just shoots him in the kneecap? Just kneecaps him. <coughs> Here we go. No. Dead. Oh, dang. Got him. Straight up just shot him. Jesus. She's screaming all over the place. Yep. Perfect. Oh. It's all over. They won. Always winning. Evil. Are maybe. They drop them in the yeah. bat. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Don't you need the body to prove that she shot him? Oh, he's going to put the. Okay. No. What? Okay, this is actually dumb. Is he going to fall in, too? Oh, I bet the wife's going to push him in. Oh, he was still alive. I guess so. So it really wasn't acid. <laughs> it's all just a gag. I'm alive. Yep. I like to walk around in my nighty. <laughs> David. 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 
Oh, now do we finally get to the the reason people remember this movie? <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> Just a shark pops out. <laughs> So what happened to David? Yep. Did he fall in the vat too? Maybe. There's a skeleton. Yep. Skull. Oh. Rising up. <laughs> Run away. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I like how you can see the wire holding the hands together. He's going to back her into the vat. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, what are you... Why are you scared of a skeleton? Yeah, also, just kick it. It's a just skeleton. Hit it. <laughs> like, yeah, it'd be scary at first. Then you realize it's literally just bones. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy for the skeleton. <laughs> Just a little boop. Yeah, right. Didn't even really One push. little flick. Now they're both, both ghosts. Yep. Do 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 do. Oh. He just did it with wires. Wow. That explains the wire. That would be wire. why we can see him. <laughs> wow. Skeleton just sucker punches him. Technically, you're also a murderer. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Is everybody dead? This is perfectly. F I was wearing a bulletproof vest. If you didn't shoot anyone, my dear, I know that your gun was blank. Wow, that was pretty smart. That is actually smart. Literally nothing can be proven. Yeah, I was like, none of this can be proven. Only one person knows what ha You didn't even have to tell them what happened. Yeah. You would have just walked out of there.
Jump in. Oh, hey, the door opened. Yeah. Oh, hey, now it's closing. Bye bye. <laughs> the end. The end. The. The end. The end. The end. End the. End the. Finn. Finn. <laughs> Skeleton by himself. Let's go, best actor. I love that they gave the skeleton a credit. That's so stupid. But that's something I would do. Right. All right. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah. Then we get the people who colored it. Good for them. Good for them. Well, that was a movie. It was. We, in fact, have seen it. Yeah. We have seen it. Well, let's just let the credits finish up here. There's only ten more seconds anyway. So. Uh, pretty short credits when there's only seven people in the entire thing. Yeah, when there's only seven people in the entire thing, that always helps. And there we go. That is it. So that was... House on Haunted, Haunted Hill, Hill from 1959. Well, let me take that screen off there, and there we go. Back to normalcy, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, we're back. Back again. Now that the movie's over. Well, as mentioned, the skeleton there, obviously, the scene I talked about, which is funny because when you look at the poster, and I mean, I have it pulled up here to show you, Josh, Skeleton takes up nearly half the poster, and it's in the whole movie for a total of maybe a minute. <laughs> right, not you know, in there very long. Yeah, it's just the grand, big, you know, part everyone remembers, but it's only in the movie for a minute. They build it up the entire movie, and it kind of, kind of comes out of nowhere, though. Yeah, yeah. But overall, it's time to finally rate this thing. As always, our scale that we use, the five-star scale given to us, we have a star for characters, a star for plot, the kind of special effects slash miscellaneous star, and then two stars for how entertaining the movie was. Starting with plot on this one, well, uh, a bit simple. You know, your typical haunted house. People are in there for money, trying to get, you know, survive the night, basically. It was slow at times, but when it needed to pick up the pace, it did. So I don't really know how to feel about that. I'll be uh, not generous. This is kind of the opposite, not the opposite, but... I don't know. I'll go with half a star just because it's something more simplistic you've seen, but they execute it well enough, and the twists at the end are interesting at least. Well, okay, so I would say this is probably the first movie that did it, so at the time it would have probably yeah, been a fairly original plot. I don't um, know. The Haunted House thing's been around, I would say, longer than the 50s. Yeah, but it wasn't really about the Haunted House. It was yeah. about the plot to murder people and that yeah. stuff. So, I mean, I would say just I, I'll give it a start just because I thought the twist was, yeah. for the time it would have been original. I mean, obviously it will be way played out now, but for the time yeah. I feel like it was original probably. Yeah. So I'll give it one. All right, and then moving on to the characters here. To me, it's one of those that, you know, we talked about there are only seven people in this entire nine if you want to count the two people who uh, are the caretakers that are in the movie for a total of one whole minute but overall I think you know you mentioned the acting and all of that and kind (laughs) of joking about that and I agree but overall I mean they didn't really have to develop some of the characters not really they're just there but I think they did a pretty good job I would say yeah I would for the most part. Yeah, I would say they're mostly just miscellaneous characters. Yeah. Um, I did, and like you said, they didn't really have to. They developed the two main characters they needed to develop, yeah. the wife and the husband that were trying to kill each other. Mm-hmm. And then from there, I mean, you don't really need to develop anybody else because that's what the storyline's about. Yeah. And it was only, what, hour and 15? Yeah, hour and 15. It's hard to develop characters in what sometimes a TV show yeah. runs. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Probably. Eh, I'll give it half a star for characters. Yeah. I'll give it a star to balance us back out, I guess, because Vincent Price does a good job he in this movie just being the most evil person, it feels like, at times, and then you find out his wife is, 
well, just as evil as him. Yes. So balancing out there, getting to the uh, miscellaneous slash special effects. I like the music in this movie, even though it's obviously, yes. you know, your typical kind of, you know, ooh type music. I think it serves its purpose well. The skeleton being on strings, <laughs> making sense at the yeah. end was funny. I liked some of the designs for, you know, the head or something that you find or the uh, ghosts that are actually the caretakers. I thought that all has actually done pretty well, I would oh, say. I agree. I thought it was, too. I thought they did a really good job with it. I mean, especially, you got to think this was the 50s. Yeah, 1959. I mean, obviously, you could tell it was <coughs> fake, but I imagine it didn't look as bad in yeah, black and white. I'm sure it didn't. Like, I think I think it would look a lot better in black and white. Um, but, yeah, I thought the special effects were actually pretty good for the 50s, so... Yeah, I'll I'll give it a star. I'll be give it a star too. Yeah, so that puts us at a two and a half already. So yeah. we're miles better than where we were last <laughs> week. We're and already then, a star above where we yeah, were last week. Exactly. And then finally, entertainment factor. I would say you know the combination of this being a short movie already. Yes. And I mean there were some slow pacing scenes at times. But but I felt like they were needed. Yeah, I felt like they were needed. I'll give it, I'll give it one and a half just to be I guess kind of on the not as a lenient side and that you probably could have trimmed five, ten minutes out of this, but probably. that's about it. And that's like the most, you know, that's about as harsh as I feel like I could get with it. Right. That's kind of being, yeah, kind of being trying being, to find it. Yeah. Um, trying to find it. But overall, uh, this was a fun movie to watch. This is nice. A good change of pace. Yeah, yes. It was a nice change of pace. Uh, I'll agree with you. Probably, probably star and a half. I mean, there were a few bits that probably went on a little longer than they should have. Um, and, I don't know, it was pretty entertaining. I thought the slow parts were kind of needed to build up yeah. to the main ending. Um, I like that they ended it right after the climax. Yeah. It was climax, then ended. Yeah, a it, lot of times, it didn't drag. Yeah, a lot of times movies drag after the climax, and you're just like, okay, you could just end it, and w- we would have been good. Yeah, we, I, you know, you pan out of the house, and the movie ends. That's yes. all. You don't yeah. need anything that happens outside it. The whole movie's in the house. That's all you need is that one set. Right, basically. and that was pretty cool. I like that. I liked how they had they just used it. What six rooms maybe all together. Yeah. Yeah, all the all the set pieces are basically the same. You don't, yeah. which I mean, would make sense if you're all trapped in there. I know we joked about it earlier, but I mean, the walls with the metal bars and everything, trying to make it as much of a prison as possible. The vault lock with no electricity, the everything yeah. there. I thought it did pretty good, especially for a, a '50s movie. Agreed. Agreed. I agree. All righty. Well, that should do it for us. Kind of one of our shorter episodes here but hey there's nothing wrong with that thank you as always to everyone that watches whether it be on twitch or youtube always sincerely appreciate it if you like the video and you're watching this on youtube feel free to subscribe to the bottom of the barrel show channel like the video comment below tell us what you thought about the movie if you're watching here on twitch feel free to give us a follow if you're watching on youtube you can go to twitch.tv slash nwtv7 to get notified on when we go live. So, Josh, do you have any other closing thoughts here? Um, well, besides, as always, yeah. Besides the usual. Okay, we're we're gonna we're dropping Sobe Life Water. They haven't um, <laughs> decided to sponsor the they show, sponsor so well. we're upset about this. Major um, major moment. So we'll just go to um, drink. I don't even know it. Drink ice water. It's called actually. There you go. Um, it's American. It's clear American or something like. That. I don't know. It's flavored water. You can buy it at Walmart. Walmart <laughs> sponsors the show. And have a good night. All righty. Well, for Joshua Hinton, I'm Cade Kennedy. I I can't echo your uh, water sentiment because I don't really drink flavored ice water. I just drink water. It's healthy for you. I don't drink enough water, but you should just always stay hydrated. But until the next time. It's almost Halloween, folks, so we'll be back with the real the Golden Goose, the movie we've been trying to chase for forever. we got Killer Sofa next week. and get, You can kind of guess from the title what that movie's about, <laughs> just a little bit. But until then, have a great one, everybody.